Clash in Session. Clash in Session. In this battle, it's time to get really supernatural. We have Alucard, the son of Dracula versus Etrigan. In order to find out the winner, I have nine criterias. Intelligence, strength, speed, combat, durability, invulnerability, energy projection, versatility, and TOT. You know, that one thing. That one thing that could change the entire match. Brief summary. Jason Blood was a crusader knight from Camelot. After being fatally wounded by destiny, Merlin bound his soul with that of Etrigan to save his life and thus rendered him immortal. Jason Etrigan would then join the Justice League Dark to kill Destiny, during which would result in both of them being separated. Following Jason's death, Etrigan mourned his loss and then left for places unknown. Powers, superhuman physical characteristics, immortality, regeneration, possession, fire manipulation, breath attack, magic, teleportation, weapon mastery, and transformation. Adrian Alucard is one of the main protagonists in the Netflix original series Castlevania. He is the son of the Count Dracula and the late Lisa. Lisa was falsely accused of using magic and burnt at stake. Upon learning that Dracula had begun summoning an army of monsters, Alucard confronted his father, begging him not to kill innocent people for revenge. When Dracula refused to listen, Alucard fought his father but was defeated, leaving him with a large scar on his chest. Beneath the city, Alucard placed himself inside a coffin to recover his strength. A legend about him then spread it, stating that a sleeping soldier awaited beneath the city and that a hunter and a scholar would meet him. In 1476, Alucard worked to find a hunter and a scholar by the name of Trevor and Cypher. While Cypher believed him to be the sleeping soldier, Trevor was convinced that he was Dracula. And with the hunter's intent on killing him, Alucard fought Trevor. When his opponent landed a slash across his chest, Alucard retaliated by pinning Trevor on the ground and prepared to bite him. Suddenly, he was stabbed at the heart by Trevor, who was intent on killing him, even at the cost of his own life. After seeing both Trevor and Cypher's resolves, Alucard stood down from harming Trevor and introduced himself, stating that he has been waiting for them to help him destroy Dracula. Convinced that the three of them were capable of killing his father, Alucard set off with Trevor and Cypher on their journey. Powers Human Vampire Hybrid Physiology As a result of his vampire heritage, Alucard possesses various inhuman feats, such as superhuman strength, speed, reflexes, agility, mobility, jumping, leaping, durability, endurance, senses, etc. Acrobatics, immortality, dark magic, Weapon mastery, martial arts, regeneration, shape shifting, in the form of a white wolf and in a flock of bats. Flight, telekinesis, elemental manipulation, air manipulation, fire manipulation, resistance to holy manipulation, and high tolerance to pain. If you're still here watching this battle, make sure you return very soon to see who's really going to be in that element. In fact, just subscribe so you don't miss it when it drops. Clash in session. Ring that bell, cause Clash is in session. Intelligence. Etrigan is at genius level, as he has fought monsters for thousands of years and is capable of deducing their weakness while fighting. He also has all of the swordsmanship of Jason, who is stated as being one of the greatest knights of his time. But I'm inclined to edge his round to Alucard. Alucard is at gifted level. He learned many magic and science with his parents. Like his father, he is intelligent and deadly in battle. Alucard slightly edges this round. Strength. Alucard's strength puts him at building class level while Etrigan is at multi-city block class level. Etrigan is not going down. Etrigan takes this round. Speed. Alucard is at least subsonic moves like a blur multiple times faster than Trevor who can dodge arrows. With supersonic reaction, he can block Trevor's whip and is faster in his wolf form, but is that enough to outblitz Etrigan? Nope, not at all. Etrigan is 
massively hypersonic, dodging lightning. I say Etrigan takes this round. Combat. This is hand to hand. Etrigan doesn't have any training when it comes to hand to hand combat, which puts him in a bad position as Alucard has proven to be an exceptional martial artist, capable of fighting against the far more physical, powerful Dracula and landing some solid blows. Alucard takes this round. Durability. Alucard is building level as he has resisted Dracula's power and his physical attacks, but that dulls in comparison when it comes to Etrigan, who was multi-city block level. At most, small town level. Etrigan shatters this round. Invulnerability, and capable of being wounded, injured, or harmed. For this round, I'm giving it to Etrigan. While we know Trevor was able to harm Alucard with a knife, it is stated that Etrigan has nigh vulnerability. Yeah, okay, so Etrigan takes this round. Energy projection. So I rarely do this, but this round and the versatility round goes to the human vampire hybrid with the list of energy attached, such as magic, telekinesis, elemental manipulation, air manipulation, fire manipulation, which outnumbers what Etrigan may have in store. Elegar takes these two rounds. Hit him with a double beam one time, you feel me? Alright, TOT, we here. That one thing, that one thing that could change the whole battle. I'm giving this round to Alucard due to the use of his sword, pause, which granted Alucard the ability to teleport short distances, allowing him to catch any enemy unaware, but most importantly, the sword is very effective against dark creatures due to its divine powers. I believe Elicar gets in a daily stab with the sword. Uh, yeah, it'd be enough to cancel out the Etrigan and tilt the fight in his favor for the win. Elicar takes this round. So there you have it. Did you have Elicar winning? Did you think Etrigan was going to take this round? Comment below. Let me know. And thank you all for checking out this epic battle and hope to see you soon when Clash is in session. Clash in session.